Hi, this is Jenny with Creature Cove, and today is feeding day. All right, so today is feeding day for most of our snakes, so we will take you through how we do it. Um, we have four baby hog noses, which is uh, always a challenge. We never know who's going to eat, if they're going to eat, who's going to regurgitate. Uh, it's always a surprise for us. We've got three ball pythons, two adults and a baby. And this little girl right here, Salem, is on a feeding strike right now. So we probably won't try to feed her today. And then we've got uh, our baby hog nose, with, or baby ball python, who's usually pretty good at eating. We've got two rosy boas. And that is it for feeding today. So let me show you what we do. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. You'll have to excuse the mess, but it's the day before Thanksgiving, so cooking has happened. Um, and I've got all of our mouse and rat sizes here. We have everything from like bigger pinkies to like day old to week old pinkies for the little hog noses. We've got adult mice for the adult Rosie, and we've got our uh, medium-ish rat for the adult python. So first, I get our warm water going, and we're just going, I leave the rat in the bag for um, our big python because I don't want him to get wet. So we try to keep him dry. Fill our cup with warm water. And then I, I stick a bowl over him to keep him submerged in the water. We'll go this way. And then, all right, so we use our bigger pinkies for our baby Rosie that was born in August. So she's still quite small. And then we, I, I did remember that we have two snakes that regurgitated two days after they ate. So we actually only have three baby hog noses to feed because I need to wait to feed the other ones. So we've got three baby hog noses to feed and our baby ball python also regurgitated a few days after feeding last time. So I need to wait on him as well. So we just have the one adult ball python and the three hog noses and an adult Rosie and a baby Rosie. So for our hog noses, they were also, they were hatched in August. So they're also quite little. Um, so about this size. And then our mouse. And then get our warm water. And for these guys, it really doesn't matter if they're wet. I kind of like them to be wet for uh, especially the rosies, because then they get their water, a lot of their hydration that way. And then we just let these guys soak for, well, the pinkies don't take much time at all. So about 10 minutes for the pinkies. The adult mice, I'll give them probably a half an hour because they use warm water as opposed to hot or cold water. And then the rat is gonna take a while. So that one, well, probably, it'll probably take about an hour, maybe even more for that one to dethaw. Um, and so we'll be back and we'll show you the feeding. All right, so we've got our baby pinkies all defrosted and nice and toasty warm. Um, so we've got these two baby hog noses. They are together in the enclosure. We did get these guys from um, Ed and Emily at Snake Discovery and they recommended to keep them in multiples as babies because a lot of times they'll eat better, which I think has really worked because these two have been my best eating hog noses ever. And they've got, um, they're to the point where I can probably, I mean, I've fed them probably a good five times now together, if not more. So I'll probably end up separating them pretty soon, but they're doing really good. So I just keep them together. And these guys are notoriously picky or finicky eaters. So you kind of have like one shot and if they grab the pinky, let the pinky go no matter how they grab it or where they grab it from. I can't tell you how many times it's happened or I've heard people say, well, he grabbed it from the middle. So I tried to help him out by taking it out of the mouth and, and readjusting it and then they don't eat. So it's kind of a one shot deal. 
So we're gonna try, we've got both of them here in the back corner. And there he goes. So I let go and he's good. And then right away, I'll feed her so that they finish at about the same time. She got it, I'll let it go. And then once they have the pinkies in and they've completely eaten, I'll put all their stuff back in and they'll be good to go. So next we have, oh, he's already ready. He knows he's gonna eat. So that is our Xanthic Conda. Where are you going, buddy? And he'll usually come out for it. All right, so the last one that we're gonna feed is our baby Rosie, and she rarely ever eats for me right away, so I just kind of leave the pinky in there and it's there one second and gone the next. So for her, she's kind of buried a little bit under here. So I'll just kind of wake her up a little bit so she knows it's here. Do do, and then I'll just leave it right there for her. And eventually she'll come and eat it. Merlin already knows that it's feeding time, so he's ready, ready and willing. And uh, so I'll go get his rat. I'm going to first use a blow dryer to heat it up nice for him. He hopefully, fingers crossed, will eat no problem. thinking he is not gonna eat. So for him, I'll leave it in here as well for a bit, but I really don't think he's going to eat. Nothing went to plan. So we had a few successful feedings and some refusals. Merlin, our ball python down there is, oh, a minute ago was literally snuggling his rat. He was coiled around it, trying to keep it toasty warm and now he just decides to make friends with them. Hopefully in the morning they'll come back and it'll be gone. We'll see. Finally got our Xanthic to eat. Next time we will feed our baby ball python who seems hungry, but he regurgitated a few days ago. So we're gonna let him chill for about seven to 10 days before we try refeeding him. We've got our two hog noses that ate great. Oh, our Rosie ate. Hopefully we'll time lapse that. And then this is our little lavender hog nose who also regurgitated a few days ago. Uh, so she is also on the wait list. But so we'll get those guys fed. Health of these guys come first. And I noticed that with the camera there, they just weren't into eating. So I, I didn't want to mess with them any further to get good footage. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.